Welcome to the world of scale modeling with Mike Ashey, where techniques, tips, and creativity come alive with dozens of tutorials, projects, tape-up reviews, and picture references to help you build better scale models and enjoy our wonderful hobby. Welcome to part three of our three-part series on building and detailing the AMT 148 scale B26 Marauder. In this last video, we'll paint the model, do the final assembly, and add some decals. The propeller tips were airbrushed flat white, then a coat of flat yellow, and then the tips were masked for the flat black color of the propellers. The propellers received two coats of flat black, and with the masking tape removed, the demarcation line between the flat yellow and flat black is really sharp. The bombs were assembled, and the seams scraped and sanded smooth. The bombs were airbrushed flat white and then flat yellow and then masking tape was applied around each of the bombs to represent the thin yellow stripes that are normally found on 500 pound bombs. Note the sharp demarcation lines between the yellow, flat black and olive drab colors. Good masking technique will always yield very good results if you take your time. The tires were glued together and the seams scraped and sanded smooth and then primed. The outlines of the hubs were traced onto the masking tape and then carefully cut using a sharp number 11 X-Acto blade. The landing gear wheels are now complete and the black and gray have very sharp demarcation lines between the colors. The radio antennas were removed from the fuselage, cleaned up, and had plastic rod attached to them for positive positioning and gluing back onto the fuselage. Prior to masking, all the clear parts were cleaned up and dipped in future floor finish which hides any surface scratches and gives the clear parts a clear, transparent appearance. Small strips of masking tape were used to cover the clear parts and the masking tape was pushed down with a toothpick to ensure there would be no paint bleeding under the tape. The nose 50 caliber machine gun was held in place with bungee cords, so I simulated the bungee cords which stretched black sprue. The canopy tops had hatches that were part clear glass and part fuselage. I rescribed the lines to represent the fuselage hatch areas. The aft bomb bay doors also needed to be rescribed. The cockpit area, the windows, and the forward fuselage area were carefully masked. The aft areas were also masked off with small strips of masking tape. I also stuffed the openings with tissue paper so that the masking tape would have a surface to attach to. The insides of the engine cowlings were airbrushed. I then carefully attached the cowlings into place so that the lower light gray and upper olive drab color lines would match between the nacelles and the cowlings. The model is now ready for final priming and the finished colors. The underside of the fuselage was airbrushed with two coats of a dark gold gray color. The dark gold gray color was then masked off and the olive drab color was applied to the upper surfaces. With both base colors applied, the next step was to mask and paint the landing gear bays. The engine cowlings were removed and the entire bottom area was masked off. The landing gear bays were then airbrushed interior green. Now the AMT kit is starting to look like a real B-26. To airbrush the engine exhaust, I masked off the areas around them so that there wouldn't be any chance of paint ruining the surface colors. The exhaust ports were airbrushed a burnt iron color. There was some paint bleeding along the demarcation lines between the gray and olive drab color on the engine cowling, so I masked off the olive drab color and airbrushed the gray color again to get a sharp demarcation line. The model was airbrushed with two coats of clear gloss paint for decaling. 
Each decaling had as much of its clear film cut off to minimize silvering. The letters and numbers were cut out and applied individually. I then carefully masked off the areas around the fuselage and the nacelles and airbrushed exhaust streaks along the engine nacelles and the landing gear doors. I was very careful not to get any of the masking tape onto the decals. The exhaust streaks look pretty good. I didn't want to overdo the weathering on this model as I wanted to represent a new aircraft at the beginning of its combat tour. The model received a few light coats of Tester's Dull Coat to restore the flat appearance of the paint and to seal the decals. Now it's time to finish the assembly of the model. The landing gear were attached and then I added the aft guns and the turret. Next, I attached the clear parts with white glue and then used tiny drops of super glue for the bomb racks, the bombs, the bomb bay doors, and the landing gear doors. The engines were glued into place and then the engine cowlings were attached. Finally, I added the antenna wire from the rudder to the antenna. The formation lights were painted on the back side of the clear parts and then attached to the wing with white glue. The different colored bombs add some color dimension to the bomb bays. Note how clean and sharp the overall colors are. Assembly techniques, careful masking and painting, and decal application all pay off when the model is finished. The canopy fit was better than I expected, and I added tiny amounts of white glue as a filler, which helped blend the canopy edges into the cockpit fuselage opening. This concludes our three-part series on building this old AMT kit. With basic assembly techniques, good painting techniques, masking and decaling techniques can turn an old kit like this into a masterpiece. With that, have a great evening and happy scale modeling and I hope you enjoy the finished photos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. And when you get the chance, visit our website at www.mikeashy.com where you're going to find dozens of free PDF downloads including tutorials, picture references, model galleries, projects, and my five original scale modeling books. Thanks to Ben Sound and Vidivo for the royalty-free music and happy scale modeling.